वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस सो सर्ट रिलेशन बिटवीन इंटरनल एनर्जी वर्क डन ऑफ द एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस सो एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस दैट विल बी कंसिडरिंग एज अ नॉन फ्लो प्रोसेस सो नॉन फ्लो प्रोसेस यू कैन से इन वीज देर इज नो मास इंटरेक्शन एक्रॉस द सिस्टम बाउंड्रीज ड्यूरिंग द अकरेंस ऑफ द प्रोसेस So let's see some more non-flow processes like constant volume process or isochoric process, constant pressure process or isobaric process, constant temperature process or isothermal process, and adiabatic process, and finally polytropic process. Today we only focusing on to the adiabatic process. So let's start with the adiabatic process. So in adiabatic process. the process during which there is no heat transfer between systems and surrounding is called adiabatic process if it will be the cylinder is there gas is filled into the cylinder and that cylinder it will be act as a insulating body so there is no heat transfer from inside of the cylinder to the outside of the surroundings so that will be one kind of process or you can say adiabatic process so reversible adiabatic process or you can say the isentropic process so in which the process during which there is no heat transfer between system and surrounding we already discussed so you can also say the entropy remains constant for that let's see the examples due to the adiabatic walls or you can say the insulating materials outside the container in which the gas is filled so there is no heat transfer from system to surrounding or surroundings to system so del q that means equal to 0 thus for isentropic process del q equal to 0 that means constant entropy system or you can say reversible adiabatic or you can say isentropic process so you can see over here on to the pv diagrams so as seen from the figure at initial stage piston it will be at v1 position at that point number 1 that will be moving piston from v1 to v2 so that will be increasing the pressure from p1 to p2 so that will be pv raised to gamma that will be equal to constant so here the head section it will be called as a work done by the system so work done is only due to the piston is moving from v1 position to v2 positions and by that that will be change into pressure from p1 to p2 so here the black portion of the cylinder it will be act as a insulated cylinder so there is no heat transfer from system to surrounding so q remains zero so that will be called as a adiabatic process so in simple way pv raised to gamma that will be equal to constant in case of adiabatic process so let's see some of the assumptions during the isentropic process or adiabatic process so first assumptions no heat is added or rejected during the process so you can say in simple way heat transfer is zero or del q equal to zero the gas follow perfect gas law so that will be follows boyle law child's law and combination law of the gases the process must be frictionless so there is no friction occurs between the reciprocating motion of the piston and the cylinder but practically that will be not possible so here it will be only the assumptions frictionless process work is done by the gas during the expansion or work is to be done on the gas during the compression process or you can say the simple way during the expansion work is done by the gas and during the compression work is done on the gas so law pv raised to gamma equal to constant must be followed entropy of the gas remains constant which we already discussed in the previous slides specific heat of the gas remains constant 
work is done at the expense of the internal energy and also work done on the system increasing the internal energy so work is only done with the help of internal energy of the system because there is no heat transfer from system to surroundings or surrounding to system so only work done is depends upon the internal energy of the system so some law of the reversible adiabatic process or you can say the isentropic process so according to the first law of thermodynamics del q equal to del w plus du that means heat supplied that will be equal to work done by the systems and energy stored into system so if we considering dq that means small quantity of heat per unit mass similarly dt means small temperature rise dv small increasing in volume per unit mass thus that can be written the equation dq equal to just put the value of del w and du so du that means internal energy cv dt plus work done so pdv but for the adiabatic process dq remains zero so cv dt plus pdv becoming zero so that will be considering as equation number one and also you can say pv is equal to rt just you can make the differentiate p into dv plus v into dp that will be equal to r into dt now equated with the r so finally you get dt that will be equal to p dv plus v dp upon r so just put the value of dt in the equation number 1 so cv into pdv plus vdp upon r plus p into dv once again it will be modified cv into pdv plus vdp plus r into p into dv equal to 0 but you can remember r is equal to cp minus cv so that will be from the relation of the cp and cv and r just put the value of r over here into previous equation so that will be considering as a cv into pdv plus vdp plus cp minus cv into pdv equal to 0 so simplify the equation and cv pdv it will be cancel out so only cv pdp plus cp pdv equal to 0 once again taking pv and cv as a common out and change into the equation so cv pv in bracket dp by p plus cp by cv into dv by v that will be equal to 0 so finally dp by p plus cp by cv into dv by v but we already know cp by cv it will be considering as a gamma so just put the value of cp by cv equal to gamma so dp by p plus gamma into dv by v equal to 0 so integrating both the side so integration of dp upon p plus gamma dv upon v that will be equal to 0 so log of p plus log of v raised to gamma equal to log of c so it will be modified finally pv raised to gamma equal to 0 so that will be the adiabatic equation pv raised to gamma equal to constant so some relations between pressure volume and temperature in case of isentropic process or adiabatic process so p1 v1 upon t1 equal to p2 v2 upon t2 now 
T2 upon T1 that means P2 by P1 into V2 upon V1 that will be the equation number 1. So, just put the value P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma. So, P2 upon P1 equal to V1 upon V2 raised to gamma. So, just put the value of P2 upon P1 into equation number 1. So, it will be modified T2 upon T1 equal to V1 upon V2 raised to gamma into V2 upon V1. So, finally, T2 upon T1 that will be equal to V1 upon V2 gamma minus 1. Similarly, P1 V1 upon T1 equal to P2 V2 upon T2. Now, T2 upon T1 equal to P2 upon P1 into V2 upon V1. But P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma. So, now it would be changing the equations. Now, V2 upon V1 relationships that means V2 upon V1 equal to P1 upon P2 raised to 1 upon gamma. Now, once again put the value of V2 upon V1 or you can say from equation number 2 is put into the equation number 1. So, T2 upon T1 equal to P2 upon P1 into P1 upon P2 raised to 1 upon gamma. So, finally, you get T2 upon T1 equal to P2 upon P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Work done in the case of adiabatic process. So, here PV raised to gamma equal to constant. So, work done. So, 1 to 2 process P into dV. So, P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma or you can say PV raised to gamma equal to constant. So, just put the value of P and that will be from the law of adiabatic process. So, C by V raised to gamma. So, just put the value of P into work done equations. So, let us see from 1 to 2 process C upon V raised to gamma into dV. So, C common out. So, for 1 to 2 process 1 upon V raised to gamma into dV. So, integration. So, C in, in bracket V raised to minus gamma plus 1 upon minus gamma plus 1 raised to 1 to 2 process. Now, just put the limits. C into V2 raised to gamma plus 1 minus V1 raised to minus gamma plus 1 whole divided by minus gamma plus 1. Once again put the value of constant that means P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma equal to constant. So, for V2 raised to gamma plus 1 minus V1 raised to gamma plus 1. So, that will be P2 V2 raised to gamma into V2 raised to minus gamma plus 1 minus P1 V1 raised to gamma into V1 raised to minus gamma plus 1 upon minus gamma plus 1. So, just put the value of constant over here in simple way. So, finally, you get P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1. So, that will be in terms of kilojoule. So, work done in the case of adiabatic process P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1. Change in internal energy. So, du equal to U2 minus U1 for integration of 1 to 2 process MCV dt. So, du equal to mcv t2 minus t1 kilojoule. Change in enthalpy means dh h2 minus h1. So, dh equal to mcp t2 minus t1. Heat transfer or you can say in the case of adiabatic process, we already assume that that will be considering as an insulation. So, there is no heat transferred by the system to surrounding or surrounding to system. So, del q equal to 0. So, here work done that will be only depends upon the internal energy of the system. So, del W equal to minus du. 
index of the adiabatic process. So, P1, V1, T1 that will be the initial conditions. So, point number 1, P2, V2, T2 that will be the final condition. Del Q that will be considering as a heat supply. Del W that will be the work done. Du change in internal energy. Cp specific heat at constant pressure. Cv specific heat at constant volume. Gamma that will be considering as an adiabatic index we, we already discussed. So here it will be the graph between pressure versus volume in the case of adiabatic process. And that will be representing as a PV raise to gamma equal to constant. So according to the first law of thermodynamics del Q equal to del W plus du. So for adiabatic process del Q equal to 0. So del W plus du equal to 0. So also putting the value of work done and internal energy into the equations we already derived. So MCV T2 minus T1 plus P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1 that will be equal to 0. So just put the value of PV equal to MRT in case of P1 V1 minus P2 V2 and put the value of R that will be CP minus CV and make it simplify. So T2 minus T1 is common out and cancel and M is also cancelled out. So finally you get Cv that will be equal to Cp minus Cv upon gamma minus 1 in case of adiabatic process or gamma minus 1 that will be equal to Cp upon Cv minus 1 because Cp upon Cv that will be considering as a gamma we already know that. So that all relations of the adiabatic process if you like then subscribe, like and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.